Welcome back to Franchise Football. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat, and today we start the regular season with the Atlanta Falcons. Our first opponent is the Philadelphia Eagles, and I would say that this is going to be a good test for the Falcons. Philly has signed Colin Kaepernick to be their starting quarterback instead of Jalen Hurts. Kaepernick will bring experience to the Eagles, but one has to wonder how effective that experience is going to be given his absence from the game. Can he pick up where he left off? Let's find out as we get to the action here on the Madden Modding Community Network. Young Wei Koo gets us underway here in Atlanta for season 2021. Second year halfback, Jason Huntley takes a knee and Colin Kaepernick on the play action pass is almost intercepted by Richie Grant. He's one of two rookies starting for the Falcons. Over the middle and he's well in front of his intended target. The third down pass is broken up by Kendall Sheffield. And it's Atlanta football. Hawkins takes it out to the left for just a couple of yards. After a holding penalty, Ryan back to pass, dumps it off in the flats to Patterson and it's only a two yard gain. Third and 17, and this one is a strike over the middle to Zacchaeus, and that one is a first down out to the 46. Ryan back to pass again, and he is sacked this time. Joe Osman gets home for a 10-yard sack. Third and 20. The pass is complete to Pitts. Does he get the first down out to the 44? And they're going to mark him just shy. Fourth and inches, and the offense stays on the field. Rookie Ben Mason takes it up the middle for the first down, and there's a flag on the play. Face mask against the Eagles and it's a first down at the 22 yard line. Interesting thing about Ben Mason is that he was taken off the Ravens practice squad and Calvin Ridley hauls that one in and it's a touchdown Atlanta. Chorus line ensues in the end zone. The Falcons on the board first seven to nothing. Pass goes to Goddard and out of bounds at that 31 yard line. Now Kaepernick out of the shotgun all day to throw it. Can't find anybody, takes off, gets the first down out to the 43 yard line. Not afraid to take contact as you see on that plane. Handoff, no, it's a play action. Fake in, oh my goodness. He gets it out to Devontae Smith. He's out of bounds at midfield. Brandon Brooks is injured on the sideline. Looks like he's going to be okay. Kaepernick to Goddard again, and he has the first down to the 44 yard line. This time Kaepernick Play action pass again, has all day, throws complete. And a first down to Greg Ward, finally tackled at the 29. On a first and 10 pass. Kaepernick can't find anybody open, and tries to scramble, can't get away from Kaminsky. Second and 13, the pass over the middle is complete. A nice spin move by Smith. And he's down to the 12 yard line. The Birds taking advantage of the Falcons secondary. Here in first and 10. Back to pass again. Can't find anybody. Finally gets it to Goddard. He has a gain down to the seven yard line. Five yards on the play. Now third and five. 
And Kaepernick throws it out of the back of the end zone. On comes Elliott, and he puts it through, and it is now 7-3. to three. Ryan out of the shotgun, gives off to Hawkins, has nice room up the left side numbers to the 45-yard line. A 19-yard pickup. And the ball is, oh my goodness, I thought there was a handoff, and Ryan kept it and gets taken down by Osman. Pass this time is caught by Ridley. Oh my goodness, what a catch. The pass is complete to Pitts and out of bounds at the 47. Fourth and two and the offense stays on the field complete to Patterson over the middle to the 30 yard line. Ryan seven of eight for 88 yards and a touchdown to this point. The pass over the middle is complete again. Pitts to the 17. That's the end of the first quarter with your score seven to three. Atlanta on top. Ryan back to pass and it's intercepted. Anthony Harris has it and it's green all in front of him. Ridley trying to catch up and won't do it. And that is a touchdown, an 81 yard pick six. The Birds take the lead and the Falcons trying to come back. And that one is complete to Ridley over the middle for a first down. Back to pass again, Ryan to Ridley. He has lots of room in front of him. 20, 10, five, touchdown, Falcon. Atlanta took the lead back 14 to 10. And bat it after a three and out by Philly. Makes men miss. And he's all the way to the 42 a 25 yard return on that play. The handoff to Patterson, gets the first down. Yes, they're going to give it to him. BJ Goodson with the injury and he's on the sideline, looks to be okay. Back, Ryan throws complete to Ridley on the sideline and it's to the 36, he doesn't get out of bounds. And Patterson fumbles the football. Fletcher Cox recovers it and it's Eagles football. The pass is complete to Le'Veon Bell for a first down and flag on the play and they decline the penalty. First down pass to a wide open Smith and he's all the way down to the eight yard line before Sheffield can get to him. 23 yards after the catch. Kaepernick back to pass and that one is batted away by Raekwon McMillan in the middle of the field. Kaepernick looking and passes it out of the back of the end zone. And Elliott comes on for another field goal up and good. And it is now 14-13 Atlanta. Hawkins gets the ball, goes up the left side numbers. And another, no, he didn't get the first down. Just shy of the sticks. And Brandon Graham is on the sideline and looks to be okay. Hawkins for the first down and much more, getting it all the way to the 46 yard line. Now five rushes for 42 yards. Third and nine. The pass is incomplete. The Eagles get the ball back in on second down. The pass is complete. Out to Greg Ward for the first down and a lot more down to the 20 yard line of the Falcons. That had to be a blown coverage assignment by the Falcons. Goddard, a completion, first down. And is it in the end zone? No, he's tackled at the one yard line. 
Kaepernick out of the shotgun. Passing and it has an intercepted. Deion Jones going the other way. A trifecta of Eagles missed the tackle just outside the 25. And Jones is gone the distance. A 97 yard pick six. 21 13 is your score now. Sanders with a nice run outside the right numbers. And he takes it all the way to the 33 for an eight yard gain. That one is caught. Greg Ward has the first down off to the 44. The handoff to Sanders and he is tackled in the backfield. McMillan bursts through and makes the tackle. Pass over the middle, complete to Goddard, and he is all the way to the 48-yard line. That brings us to the two-minute warning with your score, 21-13. Atlanta on top, and Goddard gets the first down, complete to the 42 of the Falcons. Back to pass, Kaepernick starts the scramble and throws deep. Touchdown, Greg Ward. A 42-yard touchdown strike. And the score is 21 to 20. Over the middle to Zacchaeus, and he takes it out to the 46-yard line before he's tackled. Anthony Harris, the first man in on the tackle. Ryan, back to pass again. Throws. This time it's complete to Patterson to the 31 yard line. 23, and it keeps on going out. Time out, Falcons. Ryan passes complete to Gage, and another timeout. 12 seconds left. Hawkins takes it up the middle for the first down. Seven seconds left. And this one is almost intercepted. Coup on the 26 yard attempt and it bounces off the right, upright and back into the end zone. That's the way the first half ends with your score 21 to 20. Now with a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat baby. Husker, we've just found out that longtime Cardinal wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald has signed a one-year contract with the Detroit Lions. At 38 years old, he obviously isn't a long-term fit, but he's the number one wide receiver on the Lions roster. So it seems that his 17 years of experience will be put to good use in Detroit. In other action, here in the NFC South, the Panthers are edging the Jets at halftime with Sam Darnold throwing three touchdown passes against his former team. Also in a final down in Tampa, the Bucks have defeated the Cowboys in a close game that saw Tom Brady throwing only one touchdown, but rallying Tampa Bay for 13 points for the win in the fourth quarter. Here in Atlanta, Matt Ryan has thrown two first half interceptions and one for a pick six. Although the Falcons are leading by the slimmest of margins, Will he be able to avoid mistakes here in the second half to keep Atlanta on top? We'll find out when we return in a moment. Welcome back everyone to Mercedes-Benz Stadium. The Atlanta defense has held Philly to only 23 yards on the ground, yet giving up 265 through the air. Can they tighten up their coverage assignments? and hold on for the win in the season opener? Let's find out. Atlanta has the opening possession. Ryan back to pass, throws deep, and it's bobbled and caught by Hawkins, and he's gonna take it to distance. Touchdown, Falcons. And there is dancing in the end zone. 28 to 20. The give is to Sanders up the middle and he has the first down out to the 37 yard line. Kaepernick gives off to Bell and he gets a first down to the 48. 
Kaepernick takes it himself and he slides down for an eight yard gain to the 44 of the Falcons. The pass to Goddard. First down and a lot more inside the 25 to the 22. Out of the shotgun, Kaepernick throws over the middle to Smith. Tackled by Deion Jones at the 14. And Bell gets the first down up the middle. Seven yard line. And Sanders takes it to the two. Third and goal out of the eye formation. Kaepernick on the play action being chased and finally the ball knocked away by McMillan. And Elliott comes on for another field goal and it's up and good. 28-23, the Falcons have the lead. After a Atlanta three and out, the pass is complete to Bell over the middle. A nine yard pickup. Pass this time goes to Goddard for the first down at the 47 of the Falcons. The handoff goes to Sanders, tackled by Kaminsky. His third tackle on the afternoon. That brings up second and 11. Kaepernick runs out of time. Everson Griffin gets to him. Third and 11 now. Jones chases down Kaepernick and he gets that ball away somehow. So after the punt, inside the five, Hawkins takes it out to the eight yard line and ooh, Kyle Pitts is injured, but it looks like he's going to be okay. We'll see right quick how he's doing. Patterson takes it out to the 13. Now third and one. And Mason gets the first down up the middle. Takes it out to the 18 yard line. Now third and six. Ryan passes over the middle. Bounces around and almost intercepted. Back to the Eagles. Kaepernick to Ward on the left side. Gets it to the 45 yard line and another first down for the Eagles. Kaepernick again to the left side. Goddard takes it to the 47. Third and one and is, this is incomplete. Broken up by Richie Grant. Ryan with the completion to Ridley on the left side. Out to the 20 yard line. Another pass to Ridley and it's complete. A nine yard pickup and it's the end of the third quarter with the Falcons on top 28, 23. Third and in inches and lots of room for Javian Hawkins as he gets the first down out to the 35. Ryan back to pass, completes this one to Hurst. He powers forward for the first down and Teron Jackson is down and injured, but he's on the sideline, looks to be okay. Second and eight. The pass is complete to Ridley over the middle to the 40 yard line. Second and eight, Ryan back to pass. Completes this one to Zacchaeus, and he's down to the 17. Ryan throws, and it's intercepted. The same play, same pass, intercepted by Nikel Roby Coleman, taking back the distance for an 81 yard return. Isn't that familiar? The Eagles going for two. Kaepernick back to pass. Throws and this one is complete. Greg Ward catches it right in front of John Kaminsky for the two point conversion. 
After a Falcons three and out, goes back to the Eagles, and Sanders fights his way for first down to the 47-yard line. Second and 10. Kaepernick back to pass, chased out of the pocket, completes this one to Ward, and he is tackled finally at the 34. Sanders finds some room up the middle. Gets the 27 for a seven yard pickup. The handoff to Sanders again, gets the first down to the 22. Sanders in the backfield again. They give it to him a third time in a row. And he takes it all the way to the 13. Deion Jones is down. And we'll have to find out what the story is on that. Sanders powers his way forward to the eight yard line. Second and goal from the six. And finally into the end zone, Sanders gets the Eagle touchdown. His 10th career touchdown. And that gives the Eagles a 10 point lead, 38-28. Ryan. Passes over the middle to a wide open Patterson and he gets to the 42. 320 left in the game. Ryan throws deep and it's intercepted. Ronnie Harrison jumps in front of Zacchaeus and takes it all the way back to the 45 yard line. Ryan trying to make something happen on that play, and he just didn't get it done. Now Kaepernick throws complete, a blown coverage, and that is complete to Greg Ward. Third and four. The pass over the middle, complete to Smith, end zone bound. The Eagles putting yet another touchdown on the board. And that one, the Falcons were expecting run. And Smith was wide open for that reception. And that will bring us to the end of the football game with your score 45 to 28. The Falcons drop the season kickoff with a huge fourth quarter by the Eagles. Mistakes by Matt Ryan and a defense that <laughs> they were just gassed in the final period. They're allowing Philly a 22 point fourth quarter to take the game away from the Falcons. Although Matt Ryan threw for 477 yards, he put the ball in the air 49 times during the course of this game. Now, somehow, they need to rely a little more on the running attack so that Ryan doesn't have to put the ball up that many times. I just know that more bad things can happen if you put the ball in the air than hand it off in the running game. Hawkins and Patterson only teamed up for 22 touches in this game, and realistically, they should have had around 30 or better if Atlanta wants to have a more balanced offensive attack. When it came to the receivers, both teams enjoyed some big numbers. Ridley, with 10 catches for 94 yards, took the lead for the Falcons. Uh, but then again, I'm not surprised that he's able to put up some numbers that are, are close to that anyway. He isn't the number one receiver on the squad for nothing. On the defensive side of the ball, rookie safety Richie Grant and newly signed Raquan McMillan topped the number of tackles for the game. And Deion Jones had an outstanding 100-yard pick six in this game. Even with the defense putting up good numbers like that, they're still the number 32 defense in the league. Granted, two of Philly's touchdowns came at the expense of Ryan throwing pick sixes, but they still allowed a ton of yards 
and 31 other points. If the defense was doing its job the way they should, 28 points should be more than enough to secure a win for the team. Then again, the defense accounted for one of those scores, so both the offense and defense could definitely use some tweaking. Up next, Atlanta goes on the road to meet the Super Bowl defending Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Trying to get yet another ring, the Bucs have surrounded Tom Brady with the tools to do so. Even with the departure of this season of Le'Veon Bell, the running attack is solid with Jones and Fournette leading the way. A strong receiving core with Gronk returning in the tight end slot as well and, and an envious group on the O-line uh, minus the left tackle spot that that could use some some uh, some work that may be the only weakness for the Falcons to try to exploit the defense is stacked as well with guys like Nindamakan Sue Levante David Jason Pierre Paul and although only in his second year in the league, Antoine Winfield Jr. The Falcons will definitely need to prepare well for those guys. That's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the Madden Modding Community Broadcasting Network. Atlanta has their cut work cut out for them in trying to descend upon Raymond James Stadium and come out with a win. Ryan is going to need a clean game if they plan on being a threat of any type. Can he forget that thumping Tom Brady gave him in the Super Bowl? Find out when the Falcons take on the Buccaneers. And until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>